Hey everybody, welcome to JLB Sports TV. Today I'm Justin Block. And before I get into the video, I just want to let you know that I am okay. Um, I've been getting messages and uh, um, little channel wall posts or whatever that they, people have been asking me like, are you okay? Why aren't you posting videos? Um, the thing is I'm fine, it's just that I'm very busy now. Um, it's my senior year of high school. I have a lot of things going on in my life right now. And um, I thought I should share this news with you guys. Um, I picked the college that I probably will be attending. There's a 90% chance I will be attending this college. I was accepted there. Um, I'm waiting to hear back from one other college, but uh, I'm not sure how much that matters at this point. I will be attending NYU, New York University, in New York City next year. Um, just thought I'd let you guys know. That's the reason why I've been uh, really uh, absent from the channel. It's just been I've been dealing with college stuff and. Uh, other senior year of high school business. But we should get into the video because Liverpool won 3 nothing today against Manchester City. Unbelievable. This is a clearly weakened Liverpool team. Um, I, I know we just signed a player on emergency loan, a left back, I forget his name. Um, but the fact that Liverpool had to sign an emergency left back shows the, the, <laughs> the scarcity of players we actually have in our squad right now. Today, Kenny Daglish elected to not go with Danny Wilson. At, um, at one of the right or left back positions, he played Fabio Aurelio at left back and called up John Flanagan from the academy to cover uh, right back. I believe he's 18 years old, and I was looking, I was looking down on the TV, and I was like, I kind of look older than this kid. This is it's crazy. Chase Berrien had another start, uh, paired up with Lucas in midfield, and with the absence of Steven Gerrard and John Joe Shelby. Um, before I get into the analysis of everywhere else, I just have to say Lucas and Spearing did a masterful job in midfield. Um, Lucas has really become a leader in the center of the park, and as a holding player, uh, I don't know who does a better job in the Premier League, to be honest with you. He does an absolutely outstanding job. But obviously the headlines today were Andy Carroll, two goals. Uh, <laughs> he has two goals, and Fernando Torres has none now. It was great to see Andy Carroll finally open up his Liverpool account. One was a disgusting... Great, great strike from about 20 yards out. Um, there was a deflection. Miro shot it. Came off a Manchester City player, and um, Andy just took it like a true number nine. What he he just his play is just vintage, pure number nine play. Um, he could play as a central striker. It's it's great stuff to see. His strike at uh, and people were questioning like, oh, Joe Hart could have done better on Andy Carroll's first goal. Well, the ball was if you've ever watched baseball, a two seam fastball moves at the hitter. Where I'm sorry for making American baseball references, but when it moves at the hitter, it sort of curves away from you at the very last second. And that's basically what the ball did um, to Joe Hart. Great strike by Andy Carroll. Um, the second goal was a beautifully, beautifully placed um, sort of strike from uh, Dirk out. Aimed it perfectly, opened up his body, struck it great. And the last one was a beautiful flick on from Andy Carroll, spotted by Raul Milos, who crossed it in. So three absolutely great goals. Liverpool kept up the pressure from the first second on. They didn't. They didn't, never, ever, ever let Manchester City um, settle into the game for maybe more than five minutes. And the fact that Liverpool just—they're not playing with the first choice right back, the first choice, first choice left back, or the first choice center back because I think Agger is rated over Skirtle. Or and they're missing Steven Gerrard and uh, Jay Spearings playing in midfield, and they're able to just absolutely dismantle a team full of millionaires. Great, great sight to see. But the one thing I noticed over uh, this game compared to previous games, ever since we got Andy Carroll, um, this was evident in the Europa League games Andy Carroll started in and in the last Premier League games, is that there would be so many aimless like 60-yard punts upfield right to Andy Carroll where he, they'd expect him to take him down and um, sort of draw play into them. But obviously that wasn't working. He was playing as a central striker, so it's hard for him repeatedly to try to take the ball down on his feet and provide or head the ball on to another player. So there are 60-yard punts, far too many long balls the previous couple of games, and that's honestly why I think Liverpool hasn't had the strongest spell of, um, of form right now. It's because they've been adjusting to how the, the team, the design of the team will work uh, with Andy Carroll now in, the, now in the lineup. But today they got back to, um, I guess, pre-Carroll football, or no, I guess, Carroll football. Um, it was fluid, passes, pass and move, pass and move. Um, Liverpool really just passed Manchester City to death. So again, it was just that great fluid football that we've been seeing ever since Kenny Dalglish got uh, took over. It kind of went away um, when the team had to readjust to Andy Carroll and what he brings us to the table as a striker. But it appears that Liverpool have straightened themselves out and they're back to playing great football once again. Uh, Luis Suarez, again, five star. He's probably had the most impact of any January transfer window signing um, in the Premier League, or I guess in all of uh, world football. His adjustment to the Premier League has been absolutely seamless. He's tricky on the ball. He's just he's the uh, he's a complete forward to me, because he comes and receives the ball. He um, can play off Carroll. He can play with Carroll. He's just um, he's a creator on offense in every way. He creates chances. He makes chances for himself. 
and he's just everything that you would want out of a forward. This is great performance today. This is highly encouraging. Um, I know the summer was a little far off, and Carragher earlier in the week was saying that it was difficult for Liverpool to not think about next year because Liverpool is lined up to be set next year. You get Jared back from injury. Um, Luis Suarez and Andy Carroll, the more they play together, the better they're going to get. And um, obviously the emergence of Martin Kelly right back. We'll see how he develops. Great, great sight to see him playing. The emergence of Martin Kelly at right back is also a very positive thing. And, and it, leads, it leads you to think that maybe Glenn Johnson might be sold um, this summer. Because I know they're really high on Martin Kelly. They could probably fetch a lot for Glenn. Glenn Johnson, I don't, think that he, I don't think he wants to play left back. I don't think Liverpool wants him to keep playing left back. Because um, obviously when Martin Kelly plays right back, he can't play left right back. Um, so going into the summer, I think they'll probably go after a center back. They'll go after and get a good right back, and they need a winger desperately. Um, the Maryland's cross to Andy Carroll is just evidence of how Liverpool wants to play football now. They want to get crosses into Carroll. They want to have width, and they want Suarez to just make all his masterful runs. So if Liverpool can get a true out-and-out -out winger that can be a defender with a drop of hat and whipping across, they'll, they'll, they will be in great position for next year. But let's just concentrate and enjoy how great the game was today. Liverpool beat Manchester City 3-0, um, YNWA, and I'm going to try to make videos more frequently. Bye, guys.